Hello guys, my name is Asmaran, and um, sorry I haven't been uploading during the weekend. Usually, usually on the weekend I don't, um, I stay away from the computers and um, YouTube and all sorts, uh, just to relax for the weekend so I can rebuild myself for the weekdays for you guys. Um, I've just been keeping an eye on the uh, 49ers news and so forth, and I found out uh, for the time this goes out will be uh, Monday afternoon or Monday morning in uh, London time. But this happened Saturday on the 49ers news that we have signed uh, uh, LB Nate Jerry, uh, which is good. Uh, per John Clark of the NBC Sports, um, Philadelphia, the San Francisco 49ers have signed linebacker Nate Jerry. Pretty good. Uh, this is on NinersNation.com. Uh, uh, and it says uh, Jerry struggled or uh, might leave with the Philadelphia this past season. So much so that he was phased out of the rotation after entering the season as for start-up. Jerry, a former safety in college, would often find himself on the wrong end of a mismatch. Per Sports Info Solutions, Jerry allowed 14 catches on 17 targets for 170 yards. Okay. Uh, if you're looking for positives, Jerry uh, generated pressure on 37.5% of his passes rushes last season, including one sack and four quarterback hits. He would likely serve as a special team for the Niners, or maybe even a Sam linebacker on base downs. Yeah, that's not too bad. Uh, Jerry was much better in 2019 with, uh, with the Eagles. His downfall that season was tackling as Jerry had broken uh, tackle percentage of 18.9% uh, for reference. Dre King Law's broken tackle percentage was 10.5% this past year, and Fred Warner's was 7.4%. I took this as the 49ers staying a Athletic at a second level and ensuring they have his speed on special teams. Well, the thing is, as we all well aware, that you need to be healthy. As you saw last year with COVID and so forth, all right, it won't, it's not an excuse, but it happened and it messed up people's rotation psychologically and mentally. So, to them to get in, and then you had, oh, you had so many people out, including Bosa, Kittle, Jimmy G. It was really like a pain in the ass. It, it it was just mental, like so mental. And you think to yourself, well, you know, it is what it is. What can you do? And then it just went more losses, didn't it? More and more losses. Um. Might be a year or two deal. You never know. It shouldn't be any long, like any more than that. If he's um, if he's down on the special teams, or you know, he's not the main guy to come out, it'll be good. But they need to be mentally, definitely, physically prepared for this season. That's that's all I'm saying. But Jerry, you know, all right. So he had a bad season last year. Maybe with us, train him up, train him in, we could be better. Um, I don't know how much you're getting for, though. I don't know how much they're giving him, but, you know, uh, you guys tell me. You tell me, was it the right decision, the wrong decision? How much is he worth? What will be be like? You know, you guys let me know. Um, thanks for guys for watching on that one, and um, I'll see you guys on the next video.